Okay, hello, Andy Sandem here. So uh, we're gonna have a quick look at water, setting up a water volume. That's the volume there. Um, so obviously we just quickly scale the volume. Uh, so this will become our water. We shall just expand it to fill the hole. So this is a tutorial from Alex that I am voicing over. Uh, okay, so over to character movement and we want to make it into a water volume. It's as simple as that. So you notice when we drop in now, that's we're inside the water volume. You can see we're standing on the bottom of the volume. Probably need to uh, increase the scale at the bottom a little bit. Okay, so we now need... Um, we now need to create a water texture or a surface. So let's just make a large block. Uh, and obviously we're going to just apply a water texture to this. So we can see the surface of the water flopping away. Just drag that on. Um, and also the thing we do want to do is just check no collision on the collision presets. So you can now drop in uh, and we can see that we are under what uh, But obviously uh, we want to make sure that we want a post-processing volume. We want to make sure that it looks like when you're underwater it is blue and wobbly like it is when you is under the water. So uh, just another volume here, we just make sure we fill the entire space. Um, scale it again. Make yourself a cup of tea at this point. Okay. Yes. Keep going. Okay. Okay, so here's the interesting and exciting part. We go over and have a look at the details section um, and if we go to the uh, it is actually the color grading so we go to global and we just want to make it blue uh, so we just move the little pointer and uh, get it to a decent color you can see it adjusting in the viewport uh, you want to adjust the gamma as well which will uh, which will make it darker uh, and then over to the fun bit so you can just adjust until it looks like a kind of underwater type carry on uh, using the viewport. So chromatic aberration, this is when um, it kind of makes it look blurry uh, and so we also want to add a star offset which will give it some form of animation so giving it the effect of distortion you get when you're underwater. Okay so that's looking pretty good.